Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3. Yeah. So, uh, the servers are still down. But we're gonna keep trucking along anyway. You know? I keep hoping that FromSoft is gonna get their, uh, their stuff sorted. But, you know, it takes time. It takes time. And, you know, I get that. They have the advantage of somebody basically telling them how to do the exploit. Oh. Can you not? But they have the advantage that somebody basically told them how to do the damn exploit. So, like, that's a good thing. Um... And it should give them, a, like, a head start, I would imagine. But, you know, time will tell. Go ahead and get a little bit of a, a chug chug. So, uh, yeah, like I said in the last episode, there's about to be a lot of really stupid bullshit we gotta go through. Um, I'm not gonna fight this ring knight or the next ring knight either. In fact, I'm really not going to be fighting a whole lot of anything. But I do want this tight night chunk. No! Get- No! Fuck you! You've never closed that distance on me that fast. You asshole. You're stupid. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, jeez, man. But we got that tight night chunk that we don't really need. Not this time, buddy. Not this time. I, I don't like... I don't like this passive buildup of curse that these dudes have. Like, most of them are like that guy and they're fine, but then you got a bunch of them that are like this dude down here that build up curse, and it's just like, why? You are not about to lightning stake me, buddy. But it's like, why do they build up curse? What's the purpose of that? And more importantly, why curse? Curse doesn't do anything in Dark Souls 3. Except for be stupid. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, for those guys, you kind of want to, you kind of want to rely on your, your two-handers. Like, they, they're really, really stupid. So that circle that pops up, right, is beca is directly because of these, these fucking cleric dudes. And they don't have to have line of sight with you. They don't even have to have line of sight. I think that's the stupidest part. They can just hit you with that shit at whatever point they want to. And it's dumb. Alright, so here we got three Herald Knights. We're still being hunted by these fucking clerics. These fuck... What? Like, what even the fuck with the clerics? Oh, and if that's not enough of the Herald Knight action, we got two more of them coming in. Coming in hot. Oh, a third one for good measure. Oh, a third one for good measure. That's just, you, you love to see it. You can hear it all going down behind me. It is a mess back there. See those faces? Yeah, there's dudes coming up. We don't care about them, though. We're going over here. Yeah, a little more peaceful. Also, the big guy that, that uh, you no doubt saw walking around, him, you better believe he's like the first one we saw in the fact that he summons those, like, phantom soldier dudes. So, like, you know, just just in case there's not enough bullshit for you, that gets added to the list. And it's just like this whole area is just a bunch of really dumb stuff, in my opinion. In my humble opinion. This area is stupid as hell. 
Like, it's nice. It's neatly designed. They didn't really expand too much on the color palette of the game, but... You know. Oh, what do we got here? White preacher head. <coughs> if we weren't already the most beautiful creature ever created, uh, that might be appealing. You got a dark gem. I didn't even rest at that damn bonfire. Like a doofus. So, like, nothing actually reset. These little guys are, you know, they're doing whatever they're doing. We're going over there to the sunken cathedral thing. Here we go. He's aware of us. He's still, he's still aware of us. So all the way over there, over this way, right? If you, I, I, I want to get to a point where you can see it, but, um, where's it at? I believe that might be it over there. There. You can kind of make out the uh, the electricity down over that way, right? So that's Dragon Slayer armor. As in the boss. You can just kind of fight him as a random enemy down here and get his armor. Fashion-wise, it's really just Ornstein's armor with extra steps, but, like, it's still neat. You know, because it, it is a cool-looking armor set. But, of course, uh, in, in true Dark Souls fashion, um, in Dark Souls 3 fashion anyway, uh, it is just too heavy to reasonably use for most builds. A little bit of Twinkling Titanite action. Oh, what's that? Oh, would you look at that? There, there we go. There we go. We've got a dragon. We've got a dragon. I did mention that there's a fucking bridge over here. So, yeah, we ran basically right next to where we needed to, to open this shortcut, I think. Anyway, uh, we got a shortcut, some shortcut action going on over here and, um, going to learn you guys a little something, right? So I'm actually going to rest at the bonfire, just get my S's charges back. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to educate you guys right here. Show your humanity. Now this puzzled me the first time I saw it, right? And it wasn't until I was here on a on a caster character that I was and I was, you know, messing around with spells and whatnot to dark magic and whatnot to try and see if I could figure something out. And then something dawned on me. Like, I'd come back after playing a little bit of Dark Souls 1. Most specifically, the DLC. You have no business having that much poise. Or, I'm sorry, hyper armor. Poise doesn't exist in Dark Souls 3. Um, it does, but it, it doesn't at the same time, if that makes sense. Like, you have poise. It just does not do anything. So basically, what you want to do is you, what you want to use one of these down here in the water. And you become a little humanity sprite from Dark Souls 1. That's where I got the idea. I got the idea from taking a break from Dark Souls 3 to play through Dark Souls 1 again. And playing through Dark Souls 1, I went to the DLC and I remembered the humanity sprites. It's easy to forget about here in Dark Souls 3 because humanities aren't an item that you can get. So, you, you know, it's you know out of sight, out of mind and all that. But there, there we go. A ladder just drops right down when you show up as a humanity. So, yeah. Alternatively, like, if you were confused, you could also just, like, look it up on the damn wiki or something. So, it sounds like Midir's doing whatever Midir's gonna be doing. And, you know, we're... Look, look at that ass go, man. Just thick as hell. 
All right. What do we have up here? That's a good question. Let's find out. So we're past the point of no return. Um, I believe the purging monument is up here, actually. So we got a ring knight. Ah, uh, excuse you, sir. Oh, yeah, that's right. This is a fucking mess up here. Yeah. Okay, we're not going to explore up there. Fuck that. Anywhere that has adjudicators summoning these fucking phantom dudes, I don't want to be there. Because that is... On the list of some of the stupidest enemy design in Dark Souls, in my opinion. Just, what the fuck purpose do they serve? You know? Like, f fucking honestly. They, the whole purpose of their entire existence is just to be garbage. Like, they are just there to kill you without you being able to even reasonably fight back. And that, in my opinion, is stupid. You got a rain knight down there. I believe you can also get their, their great shield that spits fire. Um, but we got the dragon crest shield right now. Which is kind of a kind of a big deal. He's about to make a comeback, so go ahead and block it again. Okay. Right here, you're gonna have a dude push you because, of course, you are. Last second, last fucking second, you just get in there, and like you can be a lot faster than I'm being about this. I'm very much just casually wandering in doing my thing, getting my tight night scales and stuff, but you can fully sprint in. So basically, I don't know where Midir's at. Sounds like he's making, making his round. Alright, let that fire kind of do its thing. And we're going right there. Put the shield up. And now down here, we're actually safe. From mid-air, anyway. Not from this guy. Because why would we be safe from that guy? This is Dark Souls. There's got to be some kind of nonsense somewhere. In fact, there's got to be some kind of nonsense everywhere, probably. And apparently we're just going to get one-shotted. I didn't know Midir does that, but all right. Round two, crossing the bridge. Crossing the bridge of Midir being just absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> and like, I'm not even upset at the whole Midir on the bridge thing because dragons and bridges have been a staple in Dark Souls since the beginning. And, like, it makes sense for Midir to kill you in one hit because he's actually a dragon. He's not a drake or anything like that. So, like, you know, we're going to be a little faster. Can you fucking move? Really? The bonk? Here comes mid here again. All right. This time we're not stopping for shit. Not even stopping to grab the damn soul. Move your fucking stupid ass out of my way. I have shit to do. God, these hollows are so stupid. 
All right. So logically speaking, you'd want to go up. You don't. You want to go back. You want to go down. Fun fact, uh, I believe Lap's storyline ends down here. So obviously we're not there with him, but that's okay. Um, and, you know, you got actually, uh, I don't know why I use one of those when I could do this instead. All right. So, this looks about the same, doesn't it? But, as you can see, it's not the same. That is a mimic. And I don't care about what's in that mimic. It's a ring of the evil eye plus three, which is silly and unnecessary. Can you just die in two hits like every other enemy? Like, really? That, that's not a backstab. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Alright. We carry on. Get our crystal lizard on. And there you go. And uh, we're going to rest at this bonfire. Because you better believe that walking out this door is going to be stupid. The reason I still got this shield equipped. Yep, that's right. Midir's not done with us yet. Conveniently for me, I'm not done with him either. Yeah, how do you like that? Huh? Yeah, you can you can miss me with that laser beam bullshit. Ow. The camera is just your best friend. Honestly, it's probably better not to be locked on. Oh, what the fuck ever, dude. What even the fuck? mid here. what is this garbage? Ugh. God, it's so stupid. It's fine, really. I'm just mad at it because... <sighs> just because. I'm just mad at it just because. But whatever. You know... We'll deal with that next time. Frankly. Uh, for
for now, I'm going to call that an episode. We've been doing it this about 20 minutes and just past him is the boss that I don't want to do offline. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, uh, by the next episode, we're back online, but we'll see. Um, but anyhow, yeah, it's going to be an episode. Uh, you know, we'll get mid here. We'll get him. Now, see, like, you could just run past him there and be done with it, sure. But I would like to do the mid ear boss fight if I can. And uh, you have to knock him off that bridge first. That's just how you start the shit. So, yeah. Um, that said, thank you guys for tuning in. You know, thank you guys for uh, watching me get killed by mid ear and his bullshit numerous times that's not stopping anytime soon not even when we get into his boss room it's going to be stupid in there too you better believe it's going to be stupid in there but for now this is where we're calling it quits uh you could always cheese them with great bows and stuff um but yeah thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you all in the next episode farewell <laughs>